if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 125 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with the second leg in the Copa del Rey against Villarreal, which we have been selected for. Uh, someone pointed out in the comments section, obviously in the last episode we lost Luis Suarez to Juventus and we said we don't have MSN up top of him anymore, we have MAN, M-A-N. But someone quite correctly in fact pointed out in the comments that technically we do still have MSN because of course Sergio Aguero, so we have Messi, Sergio and Neymar up top, so MSN is still here at uh, Barcelona. It's just a different kind of MSN, that's all. And we've got Villarreal first, and that'll take us out of the transfer window, so we'll see if any last-minute business gets done by the side before the, uh, the window is out. And then we should be selected for the game against Depor, who Barcelona recently beat by eight goals to nil in real life. And uh, if we aren't selected for that one, we'll play Athletic in the second game. But that's going to, uh, hopefully continue our good run of form if you enjoyed today's episode then uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content there will be a update video with regards to my health later on this afternoon and of course an ac milan career mode episode at 4 p.m as well as uh, it goes out at 4 p.m every single day so uh, no surprises that it'll be in your sub boxes later but for now we'll take on uh, vrl we've got one nil lead from the first leg and fingers crossed we can get at least a draw here to see ourselves comfortably through to the next round Aguero steals it off Bailey, and we could be in here. I'm not sure which run to make. I'm just going to drop off as Sergio turns inside. He's looked for the man at the back post, which is Iniesta, whose header really wasn't far away from finding that far top corner. Great ball in by Sergio, and uh, Andres Iniesta came very close there, beating the defender to it, to finding core. Oh, so close to finding that top corner. Really not far away. First chance comes and goes. We stay at 0-0. Costa into Pina, there's Soldado waiting for it, tries to go for the 1-2 but it's a really poor pass from Roberto Neymar's going to come away with it, Ping it across here to Busquets who needs to get it out of his feet quickly which he does, gets it to me and we'll give it to Sergio Aguero Aguero is going to return the ball to me, we'll give it to Iniesta, there's Messi and uh, the right back there waiting, Montoya is the one that he chooses to give it to Busquets, oh, I was about to call for that if he turned, and he might turn and give it to me now, and he has done, and we'll play through Aguero, Sergio on the ball, into the box, Sergio Aguero turns inside, perhaps should have shot, decided to play the pass, and it was an ill-advised decision, but Montoya will give me the ball, maybe that was an ill-advised decision, no, we've been able to hold off, the, hold off the defender, I'm not sure why Iniesta tried to give it back to me in that situation, was never going to get a decent enough first touch to hold off the defenders, but Busquets again will come hopefully this way to me, he has done, we'll give it to Aguero, Aguero around the corner looking for Neymar, could have perhaps gone down if there'd been contact there between the defender and he and uh, a good shot from Jordi Alba's well blocked by Castillejo. It'll be a corner to Barcelona, eight minutes from time, or eight minutes from half time at least. That's coming my way. We've won the header and that's a great great save sorry, from the goalkeeper. Juan Carlos is still trying to get the ball away. The defender that challenged with us is injured unfortunately for him and uh, he's actually going to have to come off the field of play. We've just dominated him in the air. Great header. In fact, it may have been the defender on the line that blocked that rather than the goalkeeper. But the man that was uh, challenging with us, who was it? It was Samuel. Their number seven challenging with our number seven. Unfortunately for uh, Villarreal, they're going to have to uh, use up a substitution slightly earlier than uh, they may have wanted to. Still nil-nil though. Five minutes to go till half-time. Into me. Around the corner to Iniesta. He's got a little bit of space. Busquets will get it out wide to Messi, whose touch is brilliant, and so is the turn, and he's going to play it down the line to Aguero nicely too. Can Sergio find a teammate? He's got Montoya in support. Just going to drop a little bit deeper here on the edge of the box. Montoya, though, turning back towards the... Uh, oh, wow, what a run this is from uh, Martin Montoya. He's gone for the shot. Oh, wow, what a goal that would have been. And we might still score. We've stolen it off. Is that a pen? I've gone down. I tried my shot, but... I don't think I've got any contact on the ball and I don't think the defender did either but never mind what a run by Martin Montoya and if he'd have whipped that in the far top corner with his left foot that would have been one of the best goals we'd seen that was would have been better than some Messi scored for us this year but still nil-nil after uh, 55 minutes positive start to the second half though I'm going to go through this gap to Busquets actually he's going to help it to Aguero Aguero might turn and have a shot he has had the shot but keeper's probably going to claim that and again we'll stay at nil-nil corner for Barcelona, Messi to take, in it comes, it's headed my way again, 
Mike and Mayus will head it behind. At least the man challenging with us this time wasn't injured and had to get substituted off. We know we're near the uh, near post this time, but we'll get myself into the middle. We've brought on Dongu for Sergio Aguero, but PK, the centre-back, is the man that scored the first goal of the game. 58 minutes played. It comes in from the set piece, and it's just looped over the top of the goalkeeper who found himself in no man's land there. Pinpoint cross from Leo Messi to find him. Keeper came to the edge of his six-yard box, then decided, no, I've come for this, and I'm not going to get there. Starts to backtrack, but can't get back on his line well enough, and PK with an expertly placed header. Barcelona won, Villarreal nil on the night, and that makes it 2-0 on aggregate. Surely that's us through now to the next round of the Copa del Rey. Alba over the top for Neymar, who's in behind here, up against a couple of defenders. He's got the pace to get away, but he's not got anyone to cross to yet. He's going to pick out Messi, though, at the back post. who's done really well to bring that down. Forced himself away from goal, though, but he'll find a teammate. Martin Montoya could turn inside. Halilovic is calling for it. I was going to call for that from Alan Halilovic, but unfortunately he played it first time back to Leo Messi. Messi's turned inside the box, though. Messi going solo, but kicks it straight at the defender. That's probably going to be full-time. Castillejo will try and counter-attack to get Villarreal one final chance. And they may do. Acosta's gotten the turn on the man. Looks for Soldado, who may have been offside there and was, in fact. So that probably will be game over now. Going to be a 1-0 win at home against Villarreal to go on top of our 1-0 away win. Actually, we weren't involved in, in the Copa del Rey first leg of this quarter final because, of course, we were suspended. So uh, we'll play against Depor next, and hopefully we can get... a similar result as in overall result a win but maybe score more than just the one goal we have plenty of chances in this one to score more than the one goal so uh, pleased with that game and we'll see if we can improve for the next right transfer deadline day is over as you can see we've brought in three players Sava we already knew about Turner was already at the club before uh, transfer deadline day I just hadn't shown you that and Santiago is a young 18 year old Brazilian centre-back that's come in for a million pounds so uh, not really too much going on. Suarez and Testegan, we already knew about. Cecherini left us as well. And Tini Edvai went to Nantes for £9 million. Pounds. So we're a centre-back down, but then a centre-back up because we bought Santiago, of course. Real Madrid, on the other hand, haven't really done anything in this window. They let Odegaard go and brought in Sikorsky and Meza Quevedo. Don't know who they are, to be honest. Um, and Villarreal, who just lost to us. Actually, Sevilla bought in Courtois. So that's a signing and a half for them. And cheap as well, considering they apparently spent... Uh, or maybe it actually might be a pre-contract because Oscar de Marcos, you see there, has gone to them. And uh, if we go quickly to uh, Athletic, 12.5 million, de Marcos has left. So Courtois is probably a free signing, actually. But uh, Villarreal, who just lost to us, just bought in Lukaku for £20 million. Slightly too little too late for the Copa del Rey uh, campaign, but they... Uh, oh, we're not selected for Depot. OK, fair enough. We wasn't sure whether we would be. Uh, Villarreal out of the Copa del Rey, but it could still help them in their push for a European football for next year in the league. We'll see how we get on against Depor by simulating this. Of course, a 1-0 defeat at the Camp Nou makes perfect sense. Well then, we'll be playing against Athletic then. We'll quickly simulate training. Penalties might go up if we have a good training session. And uh, again, slide tackle might go up. Slide tackle has gone up, but penalties not quite. We're getting closer to 94 rated, but only... Uh, ever so slightly, might need to get a couple more accomplishments in-game rather than from training to try and help that uh, campaign. But we're away from home now against Athletic. We're playing Messi, Aguero, Neymar again, the uh, starting lineup. In fact, it's the same starting lineup that we had in uh, the previous game. Although, I don't know where Dani Alves is. He might be injured or suspended. I'm not sure because Martin Montoya starts again at right back. But never mind, really strong starting lineup, and we'll try and get ourselves another win. Corner after 15 minutes, Messi to take. Snow is still falling here at Athletic. The cross comes in, and it's a really poor corner, in fairness. Hopefully someone will get there to get it back into the danger zone quickly. Montoya will give it to me, and I'm going to try and spin the man. I might try to look for Messi, actually. Oh, it's Jordi Alba that's out there. I tried to aim it at Messi, but it didn't go that far. Aguero somehow manages to get the ball to Sergio... Uh, to Jordi Alba, sorry, after it ping-pongs around. Uh, we still got the chance, though. Montoya, he's headed, the defender's headed that down to me, but the shot is straight to Iago Herrerin, the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, first chance does come after 20 minutes, but we're not able to make it count. A couple of really dodgy touches and weird deflections there to find the ball at my, both my feet and uh, Jordi Alba's feet in that move. But uh, Iniesta kind of taking risks there doing that on the halfway line. And Sabi Marino might play through Andrea Torespe, but thankfully Sergio Busquets there is on the cover to make up for his... Uh, midfielder's mistake. Iniesta out wide to Neymar. I'm going to make the run down the line and oh, Aguero. I thought it was going to play me in there. Iniesta into Neymar. Neymar will play me in. Heavy touch though in the snow unfortunately and the ball's gone. Suzayeta will break away. We stay at 0-0. 
Sammy Marino steals it off Montoya. Raul Garcia lays it back to Andrea Terespe across to Markel Susayeta. Chance for Bilbao. Bravo makes a good save. All that came from the man in the middle, losing possession. Had to rely on our Chilean goalkeeper to make a smart save to keep us in this one. The football played thus far hasn't been to too high a standard. The conditions really are playing a big part in how the game's being played so far, unfortunately. Heavy snow here at Athletic and so far it's nil-nil as we approach half-time. Susaeta hits the bar, wow. Shot first time, wasn't expecting him to shoot first time. I thought I'd have a little bit more time to actually get my commentary out. Quick ball into him and uh, he hits the ball. I get wiped out there, but Sergio Aguero's going on a nice run here. He's past one, he's past two. Busquets can play it out wide to Messi. Leo will turn inside onto his left foot. Messi for one nil Barca. No, he's shot past the post. Maybe took a deflection off Belendiaga. It's going to be a corner to Barcelona. Chancing at the death of the first half to try and get ourselves a goal to go in front. Deep corner, keepers calm. He's going to punch it clear. I'll call for this and he might knock it down to me, Aguero. He has done. We'll get it out of my feet and around the corner. We'll go for the screamer from distance, but the goalkeeper on hand to make another good save it'll be a secondary corner here for Barcelona in again from Messi might come to me at the near post he kind of has done and I won't win it because the keeper again has come to punch this time very well out for a throw in and half time Susayeta down the line to Baveda into Sabi Marino back out to Markel Susayeta touch was a bit heavy but and from Sabi Marino that's what the, the conditions are doing to players here it's been really difficult to build anything that of any real consequence going forward because his first touches on both sides have been really, really poor. 25 minutes to play here in terrible conditions. It's still nil-nil. I have a funny feeling that's probably not going to change between now and the end of the game. We'll try and make a change, or make it change, but uh, I don't think it's going to. Michael Susayeta down the right-hand side, in before Bilbao now score a goal to... Oh, and they may have done if Sabi Marino could have found his teammate. Because they had to jinx me in before they score a goal, and they came so close to doing so. If he'd have been able to make contact with that second header, we may have found ourselves 1-0 down. I'll squeeze that through to Aguero, around the corner to Sergio Roberto. Messi's looking to make moves. Sergio Roberto, though, being hounded by uh, very good defending from Athletic. Get it here. I'm going to look for Neymar, actually. We'll dink it over. He should bring it down well. Good first touch on his chest. Looks for the ball to Sergio Aguero, but a misplaced pass. And again, the standard of football here is really suffering as a result of the heavy snow. It's still nil-nil with 18 minutes to go. Throw to Neymar. Early cross. It might find Corne. Oh, he's literally just come off the bench for Sergio Aguero. And his first touch comes close from that cross with a header. Just trying to glance it on target, but over the top of the bar. It's probably the best chance of the game so far, in fairness. Unfortunately, though, still nil-nil. Raul Garcia quickly forward to Andrew Taraspe. That way to Maika. Inside to Itaraspe, across to Eraso. There's two people on the right-hand side, one of which is Inyaki Williams. Into Andrew Itaraspe, forward to Sabi Marino, to Inyaki Williams! And Claudio Bravo makes a brilliant save to keep us in the game. That would have been the winner in stoppage time, and it was headed towards that top corner. Top save from the man that's had to uh, jump into the first team shoes of Mark andre to Stegen since he got sold back to Borussia Mönchengladbach and Bravo comes and claims nicely the uh, corner as well. If Corne can knock this down, chance for a counter. Messi, oh, it wasn't the best of passes into me, but I see Neymar on the far side and I will try and get it to him if I can. I'm running out of space here though. We're going to try and find Jordi Alba. Played in the left back. Jordi Alba for the chance to win it for us for Tongan. Over the bar with the last kick of the game. It's going to be a nil-nil draw away from home against Athletic Bilbao. The snow still falling very, very heavily. It was uh, first against fourth in this one, and it's a point between the two of us. We'll see what the league table looks like after this. Not many chances. Not really any of them were of high quality as well either, to be completely honest. But we'll, uh, we'll have a look and see what the uh, league looks like. Villarreal were in second behind us. And we'll have a quick check. And Valencia are now in second behind us. We are a point clear of Valencia. Valencia are a point clear of Villarreal, who are four points clear of Athletic. And then Real come another two points behind them. Atletico are down in ninth. A full 15 points off the top of the league. That is not very good at all. But it doesn't matter because uh, we have ourselves a lead at the top of the league table. And we will hopefully... Uh, extend oh we're not going to play Ibar okay we'll hopefully extend that with a game against Ibar I thought I'd just advance as far as the next episode but we, uh, we're we going to simulate this one we better win we lost against Ibar despite the fact they went down to 10 men after 18 minutes why does it do this when it simulates games we lost to Depor we lost to Ibar brilliant and we've got Real Madrid next another El Clasico after the last episode yesterday we got sent off 
in El Clasico. Shot power and penalties go up, but that doesn't affect our overall, apparently, which sucks, but never mind. We got Real Madrid next in the first leg of the Copa del Rey semi-final. We have been selected, so we'll play that in Tuesday's episode. But for now, that's going to bring today's to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, as always. And subscribe to the channel too to ensure you don't miss out on any further videos. But for now, I'll see you next time.